Aaron Calvert, entrepreneurship and exploring music teacher. My name is Hannah. I'm a freshman. I'm in. Uh, my name is Harmon. Um, I am a sophomore in my expedition class is uh, entrepreneurship. Hi, I'm Keith Din. I am a freshman here at Summit Rainier, and I am taking the entrepreneurship course. Hi, I'm Akash. I'm 11th grade at Rainier. Alright, so my name is Sarah Bundia, and I'm a 9th grader here at Summit. If they want to explore any sort of future in business, be it business owner, entrepreneur, or perhaps a manager in a local franchise, or perhaps an accountant in one of the large industries here, or a programmer, they're going to need to know those skills. Every business person needs to have a certain entrepreneurial mindset. That includes opportunity recognition, you know, talking to people face to face, empathy. All of these are skills that we learn inside of the classroom that can benefit a person in almost any job they choose to pursue in the future. In round one, students come up with a design plan. So they figure out a problem, they create a solution to it. That solution is their prototype for a product or a service that they could sell. They figure out how much it costs them to do that, who their customers will be. During round two, students then come up with a marketing strategy and they make advertisements. So they figure out more specifically, who are my customers gonna be? How many of them are there? Who are my competitors? How competitive are they? What are my own special strengths and weaknesses? And then they design a commercial and a print ad to help promote their business idea. Round three, they make a Shark Tank pitch. So it's as if they're presenting in front of uh, the sharks or investors by coming up with a brief five to ten minute uh, presentation that they can get interest for people to fund their business and then finally like I said before they put it all together in round four with a written business plan combining the aspects of the previous three rounds. The entrepreneurship course, we choose a topic that we really want to work on and we try and solve a base problem. So this base problem is, could be something that helps uh, our community or could help people in general. So we're identifying a problem, finding a topic that we enjoy, and then working to build a business that can solve it. It'll be my third year teaching it. I definitely want to have some more hands-on experiences, like actually making a product, trying to sell it at school. Um, really focusing on building those basic entrepreneurial skills that I don't think we've quite done yet. Why did you select entrepreneurship? I thought entrepreneurship would be a good thing to know like later on in the future. Like, um, if I decide to start my own business, then I would know what I need to start it. To make sure that I don't lose any money in the process. Um, I learned some things that I didn't know about, like uh, how I should uh, register a business, uh, how like just like basic things. Uh, uh, not I don't know on the top of my mind right now. It's like things that they've taught me, like in Shark Tank, you learn things about like. How uh, your business? Uh, what to, like first of all, we pick uh, what business we want to run, and uh, then after that, you go on how to create your business and just you know how to like get it to the goal that you set. And uh, I feel like that's what I've gained, and uh, I've figured out how to start my business and just how step by step I get to the goal. I'm going to explain my business pitch idea. So basically when I started I wanted to like do something that involves creating a business and something that involves sports as well. So then I came up with an idea that I could just I could create a, I could create a website that that uh, gets all the sports statistics and then I could give advice to teams to make them to make them better. Um, just gonna be explaining like what my business is because I'm an entrepreneur. So like Thinking about what I wanted to make as a product, I really wanted to um, solve a problem in the world, and like one of them, what I thought was um, about water and how like not everyone has clean access or access to clean water, and this kind of like affected me because like why don't why doesn't everyone when water is just something that everyone should really have, 
Um, so I, after thinking about a problem, I tried to come up with a solution and the way to do that was about filtering. And filtering it, um, I think of simple ways so that it fit in one product and it wouldn't be too complicated that the project wouldn't necessarily work. So I came up with a way called evaporation. <laughs> and, <laughs> Yeah, anyways, so I use evaporation in my product and it's basically it. It just use, utilizes it and kind of increases it with the power of the sun and heats it up faster.